struggles are inevitable. It's how you deal with that struggle that decides how successful you're going to be. This video is going to look at the struggles of an INFJ and how you can deal with them. First, talk to someone about it. Talking about what's stressing you out can help take some of the pressure off. Talking to a friend, family member, or therapist can help you work through your struggles in a healthy way. If you're finding it difficult to give the best performance in your work or personal life, it may be helpful to talk to someone about it. Talking can help take some of the pressure off, and talking with a friend, family member, or therapist can help you work through your struggles in a healthy way. If you feel like talking is not an option for you. Right now, there are other ways to cope. Try taking some time for yourself each day, focusing on things that make you happy, or writing down your thoughts and feelings so that you can revisit them later. Second, take breaks. When you start to feel overwhelmed, take a few minutes to yourself to relax and calm down. Get up and walk around take a nap, or do something that will give you some peace and quiet. In order to be an INFJ, it is important to have a deep understanding of the inner workings of other people. This can be a challenge when you are struggling to give context. It can be difficult to understand why someone is behaving in a way that seems counterproductive or irrational. When you find yourself struggling with this, take a few minutes for yourself. Get up and take a walk around the office, go for a cup of coffee, or do something that will help you relax and calm down. This will help you better understand why someone is behaving the way they are and help you provide them with the best possible context for their actions. Third, set boundaries. Sometimes it's hard to say no when we feel overwhelmed. But setting boundaries can help us manage our time and energy in a healthy way. Say no when you need to, but be clear about why you're saying no. Be honest and upfront. With honesty, we can build trust with others. This allows us to be clear about what we want and need from them, and it also reduces the chances of conflict. Be honest about your feelings, thoughts, and intentions. Encourage cooperation. When we work together as a team, we can achieve more than if each member tried to do everything on their own. Encouraging cooperation can help everyone feel supported. Fourth, get organized. When things start to pile up, it can be hard to keep track of everything. Set simple. Achievable goals for yourself and stay organized by filing your paperwork, keeping your desk clean, and keeping your calendar clear. If you find yourself struggling to give context to your work or daily tasks, it can be helpful to get organized. Setting simple, achievable goals for yourself and staying organized by filing your paperwork, keeping your desk clean, and keeping your calendar clear can help you stay on track. By focusing on the small things, you can make a big difference in your overall ability to give context. Fifth, take care of yourself. When you're struggling, it's easy to neglect your own needs. Make time for yourself each day and take care of your body by getting enough sleep, exercising regularly, and eating a healthy diet. Seek out external support. If you need help dealing with a struggle, there are many resources available to you. Talk to friends or family members about what's going on, or seek out professional help.